Hi everyone, my name is Paula and I am one of the three sisters of Relatively Refined. On this channel, my sisters Kathleen, Patty, and I hope to inspire you to make your life beautiful on a budget. In today's video, my sister Kathleen is going to share with us a fantastic mid-century modern thrift haul. Before we jump into her video, I do want to let everyone know that we figured out why Kathleen's videos sometimes have the two black bands on either side instead of the full screen view. And that is because she was holding her phone vertically instead of horizontally when she was filming. Now, we are all new to this filming game, the three of us, and none of us are particularly tech savvy. So it took us a minute to figure that out. So this is the last video with the black bands. She has assured us that going forward, she is going to hold her phone horizontally which is great because she has a beautiful home and beautiful things in her home and just a delightful style. So we are pleased to announce that going forward, Kathleen's videos will be full screen. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in to Kathleen's marvelous mid-century modern thrift haul. Hi, it's Kathleen from Relatively Refined. On this channel, my sisters Paula and Patty and I share with you ways in which we make our homes beautiful on a budget. Sometimes we share th recent thrift hauls or terrific recipes um, that are easy to make with very few ingredients or um, ways in which we have reused or repurposed items that we have found either at thrift shops or tag sales or estate sales or even free piles. So today I'm excited to share with you a recent thrift haul um, and that has a mid-century modern twist. So everything I found, um, I went looking for things that sort of fit into that mid-century modern time period. So let me get started and show with, share with you what I found. So at a recent tag sale. I found this, is, it's really just a trinket. It's really just a little ceramic piece of decoration. But on the top of it are these mushrooms sprouting out of this green sort of grass or moss. Um, there's no marking on the bottom, but I find things with mushrooms to be very, very cool. So that is just going to sit on my windowsill. I sort of collect little small things that I put on my windowsill. And this one will sit on the kitchen windowsill. It's very cool. The next thing that will also sit on my kitchen windowsill are these two red pepper, little tiny, they're like little jars. So they have a lid on them. They're like a glass, not really a glass, but like it's sort of a mix between glass and ceramic. I'm not really sure what their purpose is, but I just found them to be so cute and kind of retro mid-century with that bright red pepper color and the green stem. So those two will sit on my window. The next item that I found at a thrift shop is, I only found one, but it's this very cool bookend. It's made out of brass. Um, it, it's marked, it's made in India, and it's a hand. And you can, you know, just kind of, it's one of the, it's a bookend. So I will put books on it and it'll hold it in place. But sadly there was only one, but for $2, I couldn't pass it up. Um, each of the little trinkets that I shared with you were like, I think the mushrooms might've been $4 and the peppers were a dollar each. Um, sticking with bookends, this one, for any dog lovers, this one's going to be a favorite. So this is, there's the one end of the bookend, the little dachshund. And then the other end is his, the backside of him. So in between is where you would put the books. But this is made of brown, you know, it's glazed in brown glass. Again, no markings um, that are visible on this. They have the green sort of fuzzy pad so that it doesn't slip. But just, I mean, look at the face of that little dachshund and then his little tail and back end. So put together holding books. I just thought it was adorable um, and useful because certainly I have plenty of books being a reading teacher that need to be bookended. 
by some some nice looking bookends so let's see um this is very uh mid-century modern probably from the 50s this is a small serving platter it's made in japan so it does have the mark that says made in japan but if you look at the pictures um that, you know depicted on it this is where you see the real mid-century i mean just look at that what was the other one with the table it's kind of got the the classic 50s table um with, with the salt and pepper and cruets lots of salt and pepper shakers there's even if you look up here there's even like a little mushroom shaped thing in the picture um the, the turquoise true giveaway for mid-century modern the turquoise blue with the gold sort of speckles around it and I will use this for crackers and cheese or um, some sort of um, snacks or, um, you know, hors d'oeuvres before a dinner. I just thought it was very, very cool. It's small. You know, it's no more than 10 inches across and maybe, I don't know, six inches um, long. So the next that, two um, pieces of dishware are two from the same pattern. And as you can see, it's kind of a, it's a beautiful bamboo pattern with green and gold. It, the back says Hakusan China, made in Japan. So I looked it up and it's really from the 1950s, so mid-century. Um, it has the gold edges. This is a bowl, you can see from the depth of it, you know, maybe for mashed potatoes or some sort of a serving bowl. Um, but the pattern of the the dishes is very retro. Um, it has a Japanese vibe to it with the bamboo and the um, and the leaves from the tree. But I just thought it was gorgeous, and we found I found it at a Goodwill actually in Florida. So it does have sort of a tropical feel to it. And with the bowl, and the bowl was five dollars. Um, was this really large? I can even get it in the picture really large um serving platter and that is also the hakusan china made in japan um and this is you know this is your big serving platter for your turkey or whatever that you're putting on it but just beautiful and not a not a mark on it no chips and this was six dollars at the goodwill um, down there. So they are very fit in with my mid-century modern theme that I was going for on this particular um, thrifting adventure. And lastly, at the same thrift, uh, Goodwill, um, for I think, believe this was $3.98, $4, is this very cool brass candle holder. Um, definitely mid-century modern, a little artsy with the coils, and then it goes up to different heights for the candles. Um, simple, but elegant, and definitely mid-century modern. And for four dollars, I had to, I couldn't pass it up, and I had to squeeze it into my suitcase. So that is my mid-century modern thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will attach some pictures of how I style these items and put them in my home um, and to make my home beautiful on, on a very small budget. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps out our channel. Um, like this video. If you have found some very cool mid-century modern uh, pieces along your thrifting adventures or tag sales or estate sales, let me know. Put put them in the comment or even post a picture. I'd love to see them. I'm sort of that's my my thing right now is um, finding little pieces, big or small. These happen to all be kind of small that fit into that mid-century modern time period. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.